Hi everyone, my name is Sydney and today I'm going to be discussing Ritual and Legacy by Alex Duval. So these are the third and fourth books in the Vampire Beach series and as the series um, title suggests, this book is about vampires, but more importantly, we follow the character of Jason, who is a human, but his friends are vampires. I have book talks on the first and second books in the series, so if you would like to check those out, feel free to. The links will be down below. To give you a little a bit of a rundown, I much preferred Ritual over Legacy. There are a few things in Legacy that I thought could have been... I thought it could have been more creative or more inventive in terms of the plot and little things that happened, but Ritual was super engaging. I really liked the plot for that book. If you would like to skip to my book talk for Legacy, go to this number, which will appear here when I edit this video. But yeah, I'm going to firstly talk about rituals. So here we go in three, two, one. So we have that plot twist of there being a crossbow killer. I really loved how Adam was the one who kind of knew before everyone um, that it could be a vampire hunter. I really liked that he was the one who who told Jason was the one who was really certain. And it was super interesting that they had targeted Jason first, but Jason isn't a vampire, so it really left you being confused. But when we found out that it was the police officer, um, Tambaro, I really liked that twist because I have read these books before, back in high school, and I completely forgot who it was. I completely missed the fact that the list that Jason and Adam had written up of the names of um, people they thought could be vampires was in the hands of the killer and it was so clear that it was Tambro. There was like subtle little things that linked to him so I was really surprised that I didn't catch on with that but I'm really glad that I didn't catch on with that because if I had um, well, let's just say the story wouldn't have been as engaging and as fun as it was. So, with this book, Brad and Sienna finally break up, which was, oh my god, about fucking time, right? I really dislike how Jason and Sienna treated the situation. Um, at the end of this book, Brad goes and apologizes to them, saying that he's sorry. Um, for how he reacted, when in fact Brad's reaction was completely necessary and I don't think that he should have been the one to apologize. I certainly don't think that he should have been the one. And I really think that with Alex presenting that at the end of the book, I think it, it kind of gives off um, quite a bad message in terms of cheating is okay kissing someone else's girlfriend or boyfriend. I don't think that's really, really kind. And the fact that it happened with Brad and Sienna, sorry, not Brad and Sienna, it happened with Sienna and Jason more than once. So, I don't know, it just kind of shows that cheating is okay and it's completely not. So I didn't like that message. And for me, that's why this book lost a star for me. So I ended up giving it four out of five stars, which is still pretty good. But, yeah, I just don't like when people convey those kind of messages because it is not right to cheat on someone. It's not right to go behind someone's back, especially when you love them or you're with that person. I just don't think it's fair on anyone's part. So I really think that Jason and Sienna, there should have been something, there should have been a scene in this book where they actually went to Brad and said that they were sorry about how they handled the situation. At the end of this book, the last person that Tambro takes is Sienna, which was so awesome. I loved this whole scene because reading it, Alex did a fantastic job. 
I felt so sick reading about how there had to be a blood transfusion between um, Jason and Sienna. He was there in the right moment in time. He was able to save her. So let's move on to Legacy. Um, this book in the series, I didn't like it as much. I actually rated it 3 out of 5 stars, so it was really on the average spectrum for me. It was super annoying that throughout this book, Sienna and Jason just couldn't figure out themselves, their relationship, and they went back to being just friends because of Sienna's parents not liking a vampire and a human together. I don't know, I just found that whole thing really stupid and it was so infuriating to read and agitating to read because for how many books have you seen them going behind Brad's back, kissing each other, wanting to be together, and then they finally end up together, but then they're not actually together. Oh my god, it was so annoying. So I just want to put that out there that that really annoyed me. What I did like about this book though was the things that happened with Jason's sister Danny. I really like Danny as a character and I honestly kind of wish Danny was more involved with the story, that we got more from her side. She was dating a vampire, she found out about vampires and unfortunately they ended up breaking up because of that whole issue of vampires shouldn't be allowed to date humans, whatever. So it was interesting that that kind of um, plot was then used for Danny's relationship. Also we had the aunt Bianca come back which is really interesting. She's quite an interesting character and I really liked that she, her character, um, developed to become insane, <laughs> that she had like mental issues in terms of she wants um, either Jason or Danny to um, transform into a vampire, which is really super interesting. But in saying that, I hated the term that they used for her illness, um, if you would call it an illness. They called it transformation sickness. I feel like Alex could have came up with a much better term than that because that was just like but yeah that was interesting to add to the story and how Danny was going to do it on the beach with her um vampire boyfriend but then that didn't happen um and then Jason considered it and they, he ended up doing that test and he can and he'll be fine but Danny if she does it she won't be fine that was really interesting to add to the story I liked that but for me, this book just went on for too long. It dragged for me because of the fact that Jason and Sienna weren't together and there was a lot of them like being annoyed about not being able to be together and all that stuff. So, I don't know, it kind of brought the book down a little bit. But there were interesting things, for example, like that test and, um, you know, Bianca going insane and her pulling out her hair or what happened? She completely she completely plucked out her eyebrows that was weird to read but anyways so um that was ritual and legacy by alex duval if you read this series please tell me what you thought about them they're really fun to read if you're feeling like you're in kind of a book slump which i have actually really felt um these past few months so yeah, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys next time. As usual, bye!